In this video, we're going to deal with the segment labels that we placed on our alignment and convert those segment labels into tag labels. So what we're going to do to do that is we're going to go up to add tables, we're going to go to alignment, and we're going to go ahead and choose add segment. In this, we're going to go ahead and look at the table style. So we have the radius, length, direction, and A value, or you can choose standard, or you can edit and modify any of the ones that you have or create a new one. We're gonna go ahead and leave it as radius, length, direction, and A value. And then we can go ahead and choose by alignment. So we're gonna select the alignment that we have labels on, which is dev align. And then we can go ahead and select by label or style, and then select the labels that we wanna convert into tags. So we're gonna select on screen, and we're gonna pick, moving down the alignment, all of the different label styles that we have. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And Civil 3D is going to say, do I want to convert all of my selected label styles to tag mode? And I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, do that. And then from there, you'll see that I have my options for my split table and then how I want my tables to be split across or down. And then my reactivity mode, dynamic or static. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as dynamic. I'm going to have my maximum rows per table is 20. My tables per stack three and my offset is 0.5. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then I'm gonna place my table. And as you'll see, I now have three line label tags and then two curve label tags. And if I look at my alignment, I'll see I have an L1, L2 and L3 and a C9 and C10. And the reason why we have C9 and C10 is because when we created our parcel label tags, we took up C1 through C8. So our numbering continued from C8 to C9 and C10. And you can see that if you jump into add labels and you jump down to features, alignment, and then you choose your multiple segments, you'll see this button here for tag, table tag numbering. And if you select that, what you see here is the properties for how your numbers are gonna continue. So our lines, if we create another line segment tag, it's going to start at four and it's going to increase at an increment of one. If we do another curve, it's going to start at 11 and it's going to go in an increment of one. We have no spirals, so we have, we're have we still starting at one and it'll go at an increment of one. And then the same thing with these tag table renumberings. So we have lines starting number one. So this is if we're going to renumber our tags. So if you want to renumber your tags, what you would do is you would select the tag and you would choose renumber tags. And so when you select renumber tags, what you're gonna run into is that this C9 is gonna wanna renumber to one, and you're gonna get an error message that says that C1 already exists. Do you wanna create a duplicate or move to the next available? And the next available would actually be 11. So it would convert this C9 to C11. So if you wanted to modify uh, and have this as C1 and this is C2, you would actually have to renumber all of these ones to be C3 through C10, and then you could renumber these to C1 and C2.